Tighten up. Nice. Welcome to Honeymoon Harbor. We're feeding stingrays and we're cooking crack kunk, so don't go far. This is what the conch looks like before it's clean. Yep. That's a nice one. Yeah. And this is the pistol. I remember all of that. They say this gives you stamina. <laughs> yep, that's what it does. <laughs> Yeah, you got the eyes and the, the eyes and the, the two eyes and the mouth in the middle. Right up. Oh yeah, see here. The two eyes. These are the, the eyes, and this is the mouth, and this is the toe. This is That's what the they foot. use the foot. This is what they use to crawl to find new shells. No, they don't find new shells. The shells they, grow. That's what they walk with. Oh. They so grow. They grow in the shell. The yeah, shell grows with the comb. The shell grows with the comb. Yeah. So they never leave. No. Once Their they come, shell, once they come, they find it. once they come with the, the shell, that's it. The shell just stop, stop growing. Nice. Well, Kiwi. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 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 His reproductive organ can grow up to a foot or a foot and a half long to actually reach into the shell, the shell of, a female. of a female. Okay, so what we did was we deshelled it. So what you're gonna what happens is you actually hit the conch right on the crown to release the suction and then you're able to pull the conch out. Now, what he's doing now is actually cleaning it, taking off the slime and the, the guts organs. and the organs and the belly. Uh, we're gonna take, on, take him with the skin. Take him out of the skin. Take the skin and put it in one bucket. Material. You put that inside the bucket also. Written on the menu, if you look on the menu, you see on, on the menu it has Kong Bobby. Kong Bobby. So that, that's, some, uh, that's the skin. Okay. Because you know Kong will have no bubble. Right. It's that's just the three eyes, three eyes in the mouth. Yeah, so it's just this, this part of the conch is what you call the conch Bobby. Yeah. And it's just, a lot chewier. No, once you boil it. But when you eat it in the salad, it's chewy. No, not if you boil it. If you eat it raw, it's chewy. Yeah, but I mean, that's oh, how I good. know how to eat it. Yeah, but once you, once you boil it, it comes home as a soft as the conch. Well, <laughs> raw conch bobby salad is very chewy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I got a, I, I, I'm gonna stuff with the boat. We are back, we are on the boat. We have Captain Tom. 
That's right. Captain 214. Tom, tell them how they could reach you. Tell them what you do. You can reach me on Facebook at uh, Captain Tom Adventures Bimini. You can, we can reach me at 242-465 uh, Bimini Island Express Company and uh, Bimini Fishers Network. All for your conservation of a lifetime experience. Hey, you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> so make sure y'all reach out to Captain Tom. I got some really cool stuff ready in line for y'all today. We are having some lobster salad and we're gonna hit the water so don't go far. Okay, so this is a cooking video. We are going to cook some Bahamian style crack conch. Yes, we made some conch fritters on the last video and this video we are going to crack some conch. So you don't want to go far because the view is going to be amazing. We ain't going nowhere with no gas. So we are pumping up some gas and Captain Tom is going to what you gonna do, Captain Tom? I gotta speed you out there like a tornado and bring you back calm, cool, <laughs> and collective with that same smile on your face. All right. So you see, he put, he bring down the shade for us and all so we don't get too burn up because the sun is very hot. So stick around and we are gonna get ready. Y'all hungry? Because we're gonna eat. Hey guys i do apologize i lost audio for about 30 seconds it will come back so let me do my best and try to walk you through this so we finally made it to the sandbar it was an amazing view right here i'm going to show you what the bruised conch looks like after it's clean uh, we call it bruised here but it's actually tenderized it's the same thing so this is the final product after it's clean and it has been beaten with a mallet. I'm gonna step over here and just rinse my hands really quick since I actually touched the conch. And we are going to add it to our seasoned flour. In this flour, we have some lari seasoning, a packet of Goya seasoning and some paprika. Shake it up really good, make sure everybody is coated nicely. And we are going to add it to the oil like so. <laughs> And once we add it to the oil, we're just going to wait for it to get golden brown. Okay, come take a look. They're nice and golden brown. Get myself together here. So I could see. Take a look. Beautiful. You don't want to overcook conch because you don't want it to be tough. Now remember, conch can be eaten raw. So as far as cooking it to its cook state is really not 
I mean, you really don't have to. But you just want to cook it enough to where it's nicely golden brown and not burnt. Look at that. See, this is exactly why I tell you do not disturb anything while you're frying. Because look how I lost all of that flour or all of that batter on that piece. Okay. Might as well just take him out there. Okay, and we're gonna get some french fries too. And we're gonna get ready to eat. Okay, so we got some french fries. I hope you enjoyed that other clip. We have some french fries. We're gonna add them to the oil. And while we wait on that, we are gonna make us some sauce. Very simple. You get the mayonnaise, ketchup. Take this out. Got some hot sauce, mayonnaise, and ketchup. Okay, so I'm going to get down low to do this. I need to get a knife. Here. As you can see, we don't have any tables or anything here. We are in the middle of the water. <laughs> I had to share this with y'all. I couldn't pass it up. All right, we got our spoon. And again, this can be judged exactly to your liking. We have some mayonnaise. We have some ketchup. And some hot sauce. Let me get my lime. Focus on that. didn't have a knife so we improvised so I just picked the top, the, the top off and we're gonna squeeze this right in here what do I tell you we do on this channel we improvise we make it work so you're gonna squeeze you some lime or lemon this is a lemon juice in here take out these couple seeds And you're gonna stir that up until it's nice and smooth. And that's it. Simple as that. Very, very simple. This might need a little bit more ketchup. See, it's kind of light. <laughs> okay so watch some more stingray clips and we'll be right back check it on the fries oh look another stingray come 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 oh we're gonna lose him oh he went in the grass <laughs> he went in the grass this is great French fries are roaring. Maybe another six to eight minutes until golden brown. And there is another stingray. See him in the distance? How exciting is this? Okay, when we come back, I think I have one or two more clips. Make sure y'all watch this clip. When we come back, we'll be ready to eat. So don't go far. Okay, we're just stirring these up really quick checking them they're still not quite done and give them a few more minutes 
like this crinkle fries. Because you can't have crack conk without fries. <laughs> or a hamburger bun for a conk burger. So you pick one and trust me, you won't be disappointed. Lettuce, tomatoes, and some conk sauce. Perfect. Okay. So let me do some more exploring while we wait. And I think this might be the last clip. Check out this last clip. When we come back, we're really gonna eat this time, okay? All right. You should put that on the water. We have another stingray very interested in what's going on here. Let's see how close he can come, or he will come. Ah, he's not coming. He just turned. These fries up. Mm -mm -mm. I am ready. Let's get all of these out. I did not tell y'all doing today. Is everybody doing well? I'm doing fine, thank you for asking. Well, today we are having some crack conk and french fries in the middle of the ocean. If you don't believe me, take a look. Literally, we are standing in the middle. <laughs> okay, let me turn my fire off. Tank closed. And let's taste. Let's get this out there. We're not too fancy today. We barely even have a napkin. So we are going to taste straight out of the pan. So here is our cock. Very nice. Get me some sauce. First bite. Mmm, yeah, I know. When I dance and eat is good. Very good. These hot behind fries. As you can tell, we're not fighting any seagulls today. We're gonna just enjoy our food. <laughs> and some french fries. Mmm. My mouth is full. Listen, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not yet checked out www.yokegang.com, please make sure that you do. Pick up a t-shirt, pick up a gun bag patch so I can bring you back to these more exclusive places and we can cook. We got to fish. We definitely got to get us a fishing video in. But with that being said, make sure you try this recipe if you do. Let me know. DM me on Instagram. If you got a t-shirt, DM me on Instagram. Yo, gang, I love y'all. I'm sorry I gotta let you go. Peace.